Hey y'all, so I'm finally filming another video and I'm so excited because I feel like I'm being more consistent and that's really like one of my main goals for this year to just upload as much as I can and just try to be as consistent as possible. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, I'm basically just going to be telling you guys five important things that I feel like you should know before attending Tuskegee. And I really want to do this um, because of my last video. So... I know that there's a lot of um, new students and transfer students coming in the spring in a couple weeks. So I really just wanted to get this video out too um, before that happens. Just so you can guys, just so you guys can have as much information as possible before you come. Because I know you guys are trying to, you know, gather as much information as you can. Um, just about the school and things that you feel like you should know. So yeah, um... And just for any new student that might be coming to Tuskegee whenever, um, these are important things that I feel like should be known. And yeah, I just want to kind of help you guys out because I know how I was and you guys may just want to know more about Tuskegee and some important things. So let's get right into the video. Okay, so the first thing on my list is to bring a car. So I know not everybody can bring a car. Um, some parents don't want their kids to have a car their first semester in college. Some people don't have a car. There's a lot of different situations and I understand that. I didn't have a car in my first semester, which is why I feel like it's something that should be known. Um, but like I said, I know not everybody can bring a car and if you can't, then it's fine. I made it through the semester just fine, but I mean, if you can, it would help. So the reason why I say that is because Tuskegee is a very small city and you will learn that. Um, I don't know if you guys have visited or heard anything about Tuskegee, but the city is just very small. There are certain things in the city, but it's not a lot. For most people, you have to go, well, from, from what I know, if you want to go to a store or something like that, the nearest Walmart is in Auburn. So, and like, there's a bunch of other like fast food restaurants and stuff. All that is in Auburn. So, and that's like a 20 minute drive. So basically, if you really want to like go anywhere, you have to drive out of the city, which is why I say it's important to bring a car if you can. So yeah, to see is really small and just having your car kind of just makes everything a lot easier. And just like if you want to go anywhere, just having to ask somebody or feel like you're depending on somebody else, it is like kind of stressful and kind of irritating. Trust me, I know I went through it. So yeah, my first tip or something important to know or whatever would just be to bring a car if you can. If you can't, it's okay. But that's just something that I noticed would make um, the semester a lot easier you know if you had a car okay so my next thing are your points so uh, so basically your points are based off of your meal plan so I know that a lot of people have different meal plans and different points like I started out with 150 points but I know some people who had more than that so I'm pretty sure it's really just based off of the meal plan that you have so regardless of that though do not spend all your points at like in the beginning of the semester or just very fast. My um tip would be to try to spread it out amongst the semester because you really don't realize how fast those points go until they're like gone. So, and I'm telling you, you're going to get tired of the calf food. Like you're going to get tired of eating at the calf which is normal i mean nobody wants to eat at the cafe every single day trust me and sometimes you're not always able to you know go out and get food so having those points is like really you know convenient so you don't want to spend it all like at the beginning of the semester or spend a lot like at one um like in one sitting i would try to spread it out as much as i could like I was only like midway through the semester and I only had like 25 points left so it just sucks but now you know when the semester starts you just try to save those points because um there are restaurants on campus the one the only one that was open was Austin's but there is another one Kick and Chicken which I have heard a lot about I've never had it because it wasn't um open to us but yeah Austin's and Starbucks was open so um, Austin's is really good. I'm telling you, you're gonna, Austin's is just, it's good. I'm pretty sure the menu was limited. Um, last semester there was only quesadillas, chicken tenders, and, um, burgers. 
so yeah it was a limited menu because i've heard that they have like a lot of other stuff but awesome is really good you know it's quick and easy if you don't feel like going to the cab or you don't have anything else to eat just use your points go to austin's go to starbucks and you're good so that will be my next like you know important thing to know is just try to save up your points as much as possible i'm not saying just hold on to them like throughout the whole semester but you know be smart about how much you're spending and stuff like that because once your points run out you have to spend your own money and Austin's is not that good to where you spend or you're spending like ten dollars on one meal people do it but i mean it's just better to you know use those free points you guys so yeah that's my next important thing to know okay so the next thing is the dorms and i know a lot of people have questions and like concerns and stuff about the, the dorms which is completely normal like that was probably like one of my biggest questions when i was moving in was like what are the best dorms and stuff like that so i kind of want to tell you guys but i don't stay in the dorms i live in apartments off campus so i feel like i can't really speak too much on this because i don't stay in a dorm and i don't stay on campus so Everything I'm telling you guys is going to be based off of what I've heard about the dorms. So don't quote me on it. And if you stay in one of these dorms and I'm talking bad about it, I'm sorry. This is just based off of things that I've heard personally. So yeah, as you guys know, we're in a pandemic. Things aren't normal. So the way that they have the dorms is like, in some of them, there's only one person in a dorm where there would have been two. So I know that Sage and Douglas are... Um, closed like nobody was in sage or douglas i don't know if they're going to be back open because we're going to have a lot more students coming in i don't know how they're going to do that but last semester sage and douglas were they like nobody was staying in those two dorms and then um like i just know some of the dorms they only had like one person in each room you know so there wasn't you know two people in there with the pandemic going on so like i said i don't know if they're going to change that this upcoming semester because there's going to be no more people coming and then also there's apartments off campus like i said that's where i stay and i know that there's um some space open there so i feel like some people are probably going to go there too but yeah as far as the best in the least storms go for the boys i've heard so the boys dorms that were open were Bethune, Rockefeller, and Banneker. The girls' dorms that were open were Harvey, White, Tanum, Young, and the Emery's. So yeah, those were the dorms that were open. Um, like I said, I don't know too, too much about the dorms, but yeah, I'm pretty sure that's those were the ones that were open, and the only two that weren't open were Sage and Douglas, so yeah. Um, so my ranking for the boys, I'm gonna say the best to the least. And this is just based off of things that I've heard. The best is Rockefeller. And I've heard that that's where most of the athletes are. That's where most of the athletes stay. So, yeah, that's just something that I heard. So, Rockefeller, then Banneker, then Bethune. I haven't really heard anything good about Bethune. I haven't really heard anything good about Banneker either. But I've heard a lot more worse stuff about Bethune. So, that's why I'm ranking that last as far as boys goes. So, for the girls... I know that a lot of people like to stay in Harvey and a lot of people say a lot of good things about Harvey and Harvey is really nice but a lot of um, people that I know that stay in Harvey say it's really not all that. So um, yeah, I personally have heard a lot of good things about the Emery's and I like how the Emery's look. The only thing about the Emery's is you have to share a bathroom so that's what kind of, you know, that's the downfall about that. So yeah, the Emory's are really nice, but you have to share a bathroom. And then Harvey is nice, um, and you know, you have your own bathroom in your room. So that's what's good about that. As far as white goes, I like white because it's right by the cab. And I feel like it's just like in the center of everything. So it's very convenient. So that's why I like white. Tanum, I haven't really heard anything about Tanum. That's another dorm that I said was more for the athletes, like the girl athletes, but that's just something that I heard. Um, there's probably other people that stay there too, but I know that the at there's athletes that stay in Tanum. Um, and then Young. The Young is the one where I haven't heard anything any good thing about Young. Like, don't try to get into Young. If you can get anywhere else, go anywhere else. So Young, I haven't heard anything good about Young, but 
that's just from things that I hear. So my ranking for the girls dorms would be Harvey, cause you don't have to share a bathroom. That's the only reason why I'm working at, at the top of the list. Harvey and then the Emory's cause the rooms are really pretty. And then White and then Tanum and then Young. That's how I'm gonna rank that. Just as far as, you know, my experience last semester, um, that's how I would rank the dorms. Um, but yeah, basically, you know, try to get into one of the better ranking ones. If you can't, I mean, it's whatever. But um, there's also probably going to be a, quite a few people who are staying in the apartments because I know there's a lot of people staying in the apartments off campus. But I know not everybody necessarily wants to be off campus. So, yeah, that's um, something that you should know about the dorms. Okay, so my next little important thing to know would be to join the group me's. There's going to be a group me and just join it. So basically, there's there's a bunch of different ones, but there's going to be a big one with like students from, you know, seniors to freshmen all in the big group chat there's like over a thousand people in that group chat and then there's going to be one for your specific class so like my class i'm tu24 so there's a tu24 group chat and then you're also going to have a group meet for like whatever classes that you're in like you know your maths your biologies your chemistries whatever so um try to join those so basically the reason why i would say to join the big group chat is because if you have any questions about anything if you ask it in that group chat nine times out of ten somebody's going to be able to answer your question because like i said there's over a thousand people in that group chat upperclassmen lowerclassmen like there's so many people in that group chat so if you have a question about anything and like staff or your professors or like nobody's answering just ask it in that group chat and you'll probably be able to get an answer or um if you just like need a ride anywhere if you need some food like ask in the group chat and somebody will probably answer you and you really just are updated about everything that's going on so i would definitely 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 recommend to join the big group chat and then as far as the group chat with like your class it kind of just keeps you updated about things going on in your specific class and you know those are the people that you're gonna those are the people in your class so you want to know them and stuff like that so i would recommend to join that and then for the group meets for the classes that you're taking i feel like those are most important to be a part of because if you're ever confused about an assignment or about when something is due or just have a question about anything and your professor is not getting back to you because at tuskegee they are slow with responding and sometimes they don't respond at all so it's just important well it's just um you know nice to know that you're in a group chat with other people in your class and you can ask them or you know just be updated about all things that are going on in your class so i would definitely recommend to join the group meets so my last thing that i felt like you guys should know is don't be shy and just really make the most out of your experience your college experience i feel like it's already very important and um it's just important to make the most out of your college experience but it's more important for us um because just everything is so different this year so obviously you know the college experience isn't going to be the same as it was for everyone else but it's important for you to make the most out of it and not to be shy because then you're just going to absolutely hate it and you're not going to like it so my whole semester i was saying that skiggy is not for everybody but i mean if you make the most out of it and you're not like so closed off and have a negative mindset you're gonna love it like there's like one or two people that i know that said they don't like skiggy and it's very rare that you find somebody who doesn't like skiggy i'm just saying but i just feel like if you don't like it it's because you're not making the most out of it or like just something like it's like it's like how could you not like it i don't know i love skiggy so um just don't be shy like it's not hard to make connections i feel like if you don't find any friends or anything like that it's really just because you're probably not open to it because i'm telling you connections are going to come really easy and you got to really just get out there and make the most out of your experience and not be shy and just be open to as much as you can um 
due to everything that we're going that due to everything going on in the world i just feel like it's really important to try to make the most of this situation because i mean you're in college and obviously it's different but i mean you still want to try to have as much um fun as you can so the last thing would just be don't be shy um and to make the most out of it or you're definitely not going to enjoy it so yeah so that was the end of the video i just had a couple things that i felt like would be important for you all to know um if i think of anything else then i try to do a part two or if anybody has any other questions or any other thing that they feel like they want to know um then i'll do a part two to it but these are just a couple things that i could think of off the top of my head and yeah like i've said before i'm new to this i'm still a freshman i've only gone through one semester so i'm learning things just like you guys are and you know i'm just here to help as much as i can because i know that people are always looking to um find more out about tuskegee and i feel like the more updated the video is the better so i really just hope you guys enjoyed this video and like i said i'll try to do a part two um and i really just want to be more consistent with the posting and uploading and stuff so i hope you guys enjoy make sure you like comment and subscribe